Choosing a major early in your college life has proven to be an indicator of career success. If you already know what you want to do for a career, our series will help you choose a major that will match your career path. I'm Scott Wyatt, President of Southern Utah University, and we strive to provide relevant education for you to meet your career goals. What spotlight do we have today, Ellen? This is Spotlight on Math Education with Dr. Jana Lunt. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Sure. So tell me, how did you get interested in this field? I just um, tutored a lot in high school and found that I maybe had some insight that other, other students didn't have. And I, I had a lot of people say, why didn't my teacher just tell me that? And I thought, I don't know, why isn't the teacher explaining this in a better way? and it just seemed like maybe I had something to contribute in that field and so it got me interested. So what types of students are drawn to this field? What, who, who would love this major? Well, um, uh, you need to be a mathematician, so um, you need to be good at reasoning abstractly and thinking through problems and um, you know being able to think really critically. Um, to be a math teacher, you need to be more than that. You also need to be able to communicate well with other people and understand mm -hmm. what other people are thinking and try to be able to reach out and, and see what they're thinking and see how they need to change that or push that or adjust that in order to move them forward. So I, math education to me is a really interesting field because it's a balance of being able to think abstractly about ideas and be able to think and help people in a more concrete way. There's the person right in front of me and they're struggling. Can I understand what they're struggling with and how to help them and how to you know, make them adapt or not make them, but how to help them think more clearly about something. So you need to be able to reason abstractly and deal with people on a one-on-one, -on -one, more intimate basis. And it's a, it's a nice combination of that. I think. So what type of students would this not be the right area for? Um, if you see mathematics as a set of rules and something that you need to memorize, which, which, which a lot of people do, then that, that is not helpful for as a math teacher. Mm -hmm. um, a good math teacher needs to be able to say, this is, uh, you know, this is why it works and this is, you know, what's going on behind the scenes. You know, it's not just here's a list of rules and here's what to do. It's a lot more... And it's supposed to be more, you know, this is a logical structure and let's try to understand it. So somebody who's curious and asking questions and wants to understand why things work would, would work really well. And if you're not curious and you just want to memorize a set of rules, then that does not make for a good math teacher. Is there something special about SUU's program? Do we do things a little different than other schools do? The best thing about our program is the, the professors that we have working in the, in the math department. Um, most of them are not math educators, but they're mathematicians um, who happen to also be very interested in helping people learn. And mm -hmm. that's, that is actually pretty rare. They're mathematicians who are good at the research that they do mm -hmm. um, in their field, but they are also very interested in connecting with their students and helping their students learn. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Sure, thank you. This has been Spotlight on Math Education with Dr. Jana Lunt.